Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan DeJesus here. Thank you so much for joining us for another video. Now that the NFL season has wrapped up and we just had the Super Bowl over the weekend with that absolutely killer halftime show, might I add, I thought that this would be the perfect time to revisit some of my favorite cleats that I've worked on over the years. And as somebody who grew up an avid sports fan, being able to work with athletes on a regular weekly basis is absolutely one of the coolest parts about my job. I also happen to be one of those kids who one day dreamed of making it as a pro athlete. I just didn't quite frankly have any of the skills to do so or the genetics. But nonetheless, to still play a very small role today and to be able to connect with athletes and help bring some of their visions to life, it is absolutely a dream come true for me. So we've had hundreds of cleats come through the DCF studio over the years, so narrowing it down to a top 10 was no easy task. But I think we got a little something for everybody on this list. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. But first, let's start things off with an honorable mention and take it all the way back to 2014, which also happened to be the first year I was even working on any cleats in the league. Mark Sanchez was with the Philadelphia Eagles. He had a Monday night football game, and it also happened to be Veterans Day. So this is when you would see the players and coaches wearing some type of Veterans Day gear on the sidelines. That year, it just so happened to be that they all had a very simple digicamel pattern. Mark actually sent me the beanie that he would be wearing and said he wanted a pair of cleats to match. So he ended up having a huge game and the Monday Night Football crew even talked to him afterwards about his cleats. And this was back when custom cleats just weren't anywhere near as popular. So this was such a cool thing for me to see, to have the cleats in that type of spotlight. Definitely a memorable one. Now let's get to the list. Number 10. Here we have a pair of Warhawk inspired Vapor Untouchables for DJ Hayden of the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think that this is definitely proof that the Warhawk theme can work with almost any colorway. That Jaguar teal and gold has to be one of the best colorways in the entire league, especially when it comes to custom cleats. There's a million different things you could do, but I love how on these, the only spot you see any gold is on the front of that toe, almost trying to resemble the front of an actual Warhawk plane. You also have your shark teeth, the simplicity of that checker print swoosh, and there's a hidden little detail on these. If you actually take a closer look at some of the steel paneling, you'll see a very subtle cheetah print. Now, typically when you're doing a Jaguars theme, that leopard or cheetah print is gonna be much more at the forefront, but I love how on these, it's much more subtle and just in the background, but just enough to tie it into still being a Jaguars theme, of course. Number nine. Next up, we have a pair from this season, a diamond plate set of cleats for our buddy Eric Ebron of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Of course, most of your Steelers custom cleats are gonna be done in the traditional black and yellow colorway, but I wanted to take their theme much more literal and try to recreate a bit of a weathered diamond plate pattern across the entire upper of these cleats. But if you got the chance to check out the video where we made these, anytime I'm attempting a new theme where I don't necessarily know how I'm gonna do it, I really just try to reverse engineer things, try to break them down layer by layer to see what steps I need to take in order to get there. And sometimes your end result can turn out even better than you initially expected. I think that the Steelers branding, his jersey number, and those Nike swooshes really do have that engraved or embedded type feel that we were going for. This is one of those projects where you step outside of your comfort zone and sometimes really good stuff can happen. I also definitely try to challenge myself when it comes to a lot of Eron's pairs. I've been painting custom cleats for him every single week for years now, so I always need to try to one-up myself. We could have easily made an entire list of just top 10 cleats for him, but don't you worry, we only included three on this list of his. Number eight. A few years back, EA Sports reached out to us when they were releasing Star Wars Battlefront 2 and they wanted a pair of custom cleats to help promote the release of the game, something that they could post around on their socials, and something that was going to be included on Madden's social media pages. So of course, being a Star Wars fan and somebody who grew up playing Madden, this was a super cool opportunity. For the most part, they really guided the design and were pretty specific on what they wanted included with the heavy emphasis on the Inferno Squad, who happens to have some incredibly dope looking helmets. But I just think that overall for a promotional cleat, this was definitely a fun project to be a part of. Number seven. Here we have a pair of Broly vs. Gogeta cleats, and my main goal here is to try to somewhat recreate the scene in which these two characters are battling up against this volcanic type background. So we started things off with this reddish oranges type gradient on the uppers, and big shout out to Nike for actually releasing these cleats that have this gold soap plate. It works perfectly for a ton of different themes. But then we have our main characters taking up the rest of the uppers, and then this force lightning surrounding both of them along with wrapping around 
the swoosh. I love how that really stands out from the background. And then all the detail that goes into anime. Big shout out to all the artists who are absolutely killing it doing anime work in the custom sneaker game. It is no easy task and like I said there is just a ton of detail packed into doing characters at this scale. And this is definitely one of those pairs that would be hard to miss when they hit the field. Number six. Next up we have a pair of Nike Vapor Untouchable Pros in a Joker theme. Now I think that the Joker theme has to be up there and probably that top 10 most popular custom sneaker themes of all time. So anytime you're doing them, you sort of need to ask yourself, well, what can I do that maybe hasn't been done in the past? Or how can I sort of put my own spin on it while still having a nice balance of some of the main aspects that really make up the character? So anytime I start thinking of Heath Ledger's Joker, I sort of think of how am I going to balance out those four main colors of purple, green, red, and white. And I know I've certainly done some pairs in the past where I've really let the purple sort of overpower the the entire theme and I definitely didn't include enough of that white scarred up makeup and whatnot so I definitely wanted to have a nice emphasis on that on this pair. I thought that doing a purple and green stripe pattern on the toe although not something included anywhere in the Joker's outfit would be the perfect way for me to sort of help balance out some of those colors. You also have those red scars from his mouth on the Nike swoosh leading right into the black makeup around his eyes and you put it all together and you have one of my favorite takes on the Joker theme that I've done. Number five. Next up on the list we have a pair of Nike Alpha Pro 2s done for Jeremy Langford during his time with the Chicago Bears. Being that this was my first time working with a player from my hometown team that I grew up rooting for, this was definitely a monumental moment for me. And what was really cool about this project is he ended up getting two pairs from us. He came by our studio, dropped them off, came back to pick them up. We used to happen to have a studio in downtown Chicago that was only a couple blocks away from Soldier Field where the Bears play. So it was really cool how that worked out. And I remember being incredibly nervous to meet him which is super funny when you think about it so for the upper on these i thought that it would be really cool to have a bear trying to claw his way right out of the cleat paw prints throughout a tiger camel and of course anytime you're working with that navy blue and orange those complementary colors you're definitely going to end up with an eye-catching design number four for the fourth spot on our list i'm actually going to have to cheat a little bit and we're going to be including two pairs at this spot so we have some christmas themed cleats for eric ebron and lance moore who were both with the detroit Lions at the time. These pairs were made back in 2015 and again custom cleats had much stricter guidelines years back so when Ebron initially hit me up and said him and his teammate wanted a pair of custom cleats for Christmas he said it doesn't matter we know that we're going to get fined for these but we still want something that's really going to stand out because they had a Monday night football game on Christmas Eve in New Orleans in the dome so they said go all out for them. Lance Moore's pair has the silver to Honolulu blue fade along with the Nike SB ugly Christmas sweater print throughout. And for Ebron's pair, I just wanted to combine as many Christmas elements as I possibly could together on one cleat. Starting off on the toe box, we have that snowflake icicle type fade leading directly into our green Christmas tree with the lights. And near our back heel, we have that red Christmas sweater print, along with a candy cane stripe on both pairs of shoes. What I love about looking back on a pair like this also is knowing how much better I could do them today. Take for example that sweater print, I could do that so much cleaner. And same goes for the Christmas lights on the Christmas tree portion. I would love to try to add a glow behind each of those lights, something that would make them pop even more. But nonetheless, both players balled out in their cleats. Both of them were also fined, and it happened to be a ton of great press along the way. Before we get into our top three, I would love to see some of the stuff that you guys have cooked up when it comes to custom cleats. So I want you to go ahead and repost some of your work to your Instagram stories. Maybe it's even a top 10 just like this. Use the hashtag DCF custom cleats. Make sure you tag us in the post also. And then I'll be sharing some of your work over on our page. Just a simple way to give back and show some love to you guys. Number three. Coming in with the bronze medal, we have another pair from this year. The mystery machine cleats made for Darius Slay of the Philadelphia Eagles. This pair is one of those times when you're just having fun. Somebody gives you a theme and you get to do it in your style however you want. Scooby-Doo was one of my favorite cartoons growing up, so to then have an NFL player hit you up down the line and want a pair of cleats based around that, I mean, come on. Take a look at the colorway. You have your teal and lime green along with the orange flowers throughout. It's just groovy. And I love that these have nothing to do with the Eagles colorway or uniform, so they stand out that much louder on the field. Number two, our runner up is this Thanos inspired pair of cleats for Ebron back when he was with the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, the colorway on these just speaks for itself. It's absolutely bonkers. That purple stands out so loud. I don't know if I've ever made a more vibrant pair of shoes and they're really well complemented by that gold sole plate. These were a 
lot of fun to make from the Thanos cartoon to his glove collecting all of the Infinity Stones, those gold swishes, I mean talk about making a statement with this pair. Number one. And in first place, my favorite custom cleat of all time has to be the Nike SB Travis Scott dunk cleat that we made for Quandre Diggs of the Seattle Seahawks last year. The Nike SB line is actually what got me into collecting shoes in the first place and those dunks are definitely one of my favorite pairs of all time. So when Diggs wanted us to make a pair to match them, I knew that I had to nail them from top to bottom. I actually had never airbrushed plaid before so that was definitely a challenge on these and anytime you're trying to recreate a dunk or any silhouette onto something completely different like a cleat, you really need to nail the look otherwise to the natural eye it's just not going to look right. Then you also have your paisley bandana print throughout the rest of the blue uppers. And when it all comes together like that and you get to see your work hit the field, no better feeling. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this top 10 custom cleat list from us. If you're interested, I also ranked my top 10 favorite custom shoes of all time last year. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what some of your favorite cleats were from today's video. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the stuff that you guys have cooked up previously. So make sure you tag us in those over on Instagram. Use that hashtag DCF Custom Cleats on your story post and we'll be resharing a bunch of those. Also, if you could please go ahead and drop a like on this video, it definitely helps the page continue to grow. And consider subscribing if you aren't already. But otherwise guys, I'm Dylan DeJesus and now everybody get out there and just create.